Getting it done, working hard, discipline, hard work ethic, sweat. Choose to live positive, healthy, fit, confident, and strong. We're here at the International Sports Hall of Fame with Johnny Bench. It's wonderful to have you here with us and taking a few minutes out of your busy, busy day today to just share with us about this event. Well, I'm so jealous of what you do, the Travel Channel, and you've traveled to Columbus to see one of the greatest events probably that not everybody's aware of, the opportunity to come here and watch weightlifters, to watch swimming, to watch every imaginable. There must be 30, 40 different kind of competitions going on in all ranges and all sizes. 20,000 athletes that come to Columbus to compete. I mean, this is unbelievable. It's twice as big as the Olympics. All the people that are in the Hall of Fame are here because of what they've done for charitable works, what they've done for their fellow man. And I think that's more commendable than anything else. A lot of people refer to this event as the crown jewel of the Arnold Sports Festival. It truly is. I'm super excited to see that the wonderful folks that are out here and yourself as well for sharing your time and the event in itself is kind of like the Oscars, I feel. Well, this is like the Oscars of the Arnold. That's a very good analogy. It's an honor to just interact with these people because they, they truly are not only legends in their sport, but legends as people. Uh, with all the things that they do to give back to others and mentoring kids and just really making their mark on society way beyond the scope of their sport. This is uh, unbelievable for the kids to learn, to see the professionals, the amateurs, and the kids to, that want to compete one day. It's amazing. It seems to be getting bigger and better, and having Arnold be a part of it and really getting involved, I think that's really important. But the message that he's sending about health and fitness and you know, exercising every day and eating properly. This is where it starts and uh, every year it just gets bigger and better. It's, it's a great opportunity here just to give back as a role model, but I think more important is just on the mat every day, working with kids and giving them attention, I think is the most important thing. Um, and I, do you think that goals and perseverance often affect us when, when we're dealing with sports and discipline in itself? I think it's the most important thing. I mean, talent that doesn't go anywhere is just a cliche. And I often wonder, like, I spent 14 years of my life competing, you know, and now I run a technology company. You know, what good did it do? But it does, because doing a startup is a lot like winning a world championships, right? Like, it's really hard, and most people don't make it, and every day you have to get up and try your hardest. And so I think that perseverance, not only does it make is it the key factor in, in succeeding in sports, but you can take that and succeed in anything, which is why sports are so important for kids. For competitors who are trying to achieve that Olympia challenge just once, what would you give them as a recommendation? Oh man, it's all about the hard work, dedication, and, and having faith in God, basically for me, because that's how I got here. You know, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of sacrifice. And, and most importantly, my faith in God. This particular event with the International Sports Hall of Fame is a great, great event, top notch, uh, great induction class this year with Johnny Bench, Kurt Angle, Anna DeMars. Uh, I mean, the list just, it just gets better all the time. And happy to be uh, in the inaugural induction class with Arnold and, and part of this group. So it's fun to be here. We're so honored to have Governor Schwarzenegger to co-host this with us. So let's give it up for our hero, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you all. Thank you. I just uh, i am very honored that we have Bob Goldman organizing this event right here, the Arnold Classic. Uh, for us, the Arnold Classic has always been a means to promote health and fitness around the world. And this is why we are now in six different continents. And I want to say thank you to my partner, Jim Lorimer, who is sitting right here to my left, who has been an extraordinary partner. Uh, we looked at each other in the eyes in 1970 when I won the Mr. World competition here in Columbus. And as it when I retire from bodybuilding competition, you and I will be partners. And that's exactly what happened in 1976. We ran the first Mr. Olympia competition here in Columbus, Ohio. 
and then afterwards many other Mr. Olympia competitions, Mr. Universe competitions, Mr. International, Miss Olympia, and all those titles until we started then 30 years ago, the Arnold Classic. And so we have been doing this for four decades. And I was totally committed always that bodybuilding for me was not just to build my own body, but to build uh, the sport of bodybuilding and sports in general all over the world and to lift all of the sports up. And this is why I'm so happy that this world championships in bodybuilding all turned into this huge sports and fitness festival. And we have 56 different sports here this year. It's a record amount of sports that we've ever had. We have almost 20,000 participants. Training.